What's up troopers, my name is Neon and welcome to a brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to be helping you guys how to unlock weapon attachments way more quicker. There's some really cool methods, so I'm looking forward to this video. Before we get into this, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Of course, leave a like as well. Would really appreciate it. Thank you very much. In Battlefield 2042, it can take some time to unlock all the attachments. If you actually want to get every single attachment with a weapon, you need up to 360 kills. Getting 360 kills can definitely take a while to unlock all these attachments. And that's just something where you just want to be using the gun, you want to get all the attachments, but it's taking you absolutely forever. But there is a bunch of methods you can actually do. Yes, you can just go and play regular online if you want to, and most that actually unlock the attachments a lot more quicker, you want to go for something a bit chaotic like Breakthrough or Rush. Make sure you look for them portal servers as well, and also keep an eye on them Friday Night Battlefields and any newer modes they release and sometimes they do release 128 rush and that can be super chaotic that can give you a lot of kills but really think about it right there is one method you really should be doing more than anything and i actually do this pretty much all the time especially when it comes to unlocking vault weapons and what i usually do is i actually go to solo co-op mode and i play against bots but you have to remember though playing against solo co-op bots you can only unlock just the attachments if you had a brand new weapon and it literally has zero kills you can unlock up to 360 kills by using that weapon and you can actually do that against bots but the thing is though as soon as you go over that kill limit you can't unlock anything else you already unlocked all the attachments there's nothing else you can do but the question is what about the tier one can you actually get tier one skins with bots and the question is yes and no you can only get an amount of kills of the amount of attachment kills you actually need so example if you needed all them kills or 360 kills but you only needed five kills left well even if you go into bot lobby you can get the last five kills and complete that last attachment and that last five kills will count to your tier one. So basically, if you want to tier one your weapons a lot more quicker, then you need to be starting with a weapon where it literally has no attachments whatsoever. So when you unlock all the attachments, you're also progressing to your tier one. So you don't just get 360 kills and getting all the attachments, you're also getting 360 kills with the tier one. And that's a really good start to just start getting all them tier one skins. You can also look in Portal as well. There is custom servers of Rush. And what these Rush servers are is literally the same thing. It's just bots. It's pretty much just doing the bot method in breakthrough except this is way more quicker and efficient you can host a server or join a server and you can just see 128 bots and just spray and pray the really troopers the best method to get in all the attachments is actually just playing against bots It's really the best efficient way to do it and you shouldn't think anything cheesy about unlocking stuff against bots there's nothing wrong playing against bots the reason why is is because if you had a new weapon and you want to try that weapon out why would you want to try that out with sweaty people you want to try that against ai bots so you actually have a chance to play understand the weapon get the feel of it before you actually hit the main battlefield so seriously troopers try them tips out and hopefully they work out for you if they do don't forget to leave a like comment subscribe be a part of pink army and i'll see you troopers in the next video peace that was a vehicle oh my god i just destroyed a jet <laughs>